What is up guys, I'm here with some actual Trackmania news for once, not some personal news, not some Huntmania news, but some real Trackmania news that will affect the community overall and the game overall. It's been kind of a busy weekend in terms of Trackmania news, uh, and when I mean busy, I don't mean like crazy busy, I mean like two or three news, but if you are uh, used to Trackmania and if you are in Trackmania you know that normally it's zero news for about three or four weeks in a row and then we get one or two and now we actually got two or three in just one weekend. The biggest of them all of course, uh, the prize pool for uh, Trackmania Grand League was officially announced and um, after we have already been playing three steps now uh, and it was just announced before the step three was played, at least publicly. Uh, the players, for my information, is, has already been aware of this probably since the start or at least have an indication about what the price pool would be. I heard, had heard some rumors about it being 10,000 or more than 10,000, but now we got to officially confirm that it's 15,000 euros. Uh, and when you look at it, uh, the prices are going to be play, paid out in first getting 3,000, second 2,000, Third, 1500 euros, fourth, 900 euros, fifth, 800 euros, sixth, 700 euros, seventh, 600 euros, and eighth, 500 euros. If you're quick in math, you can add these numbers together and say, okay, that's just 10,000, where are the rest? And the sort of funny thing here, or the interesting thing here, is that if you win a map, you're getting a reward at 100 euros there and then. Something you can take home uh, and then just enjoy. And this is something the players have been aware of apparently since the start. And now that we have had three steps uh, being played out, it's already 1500 euros. So if you look at the Sunday, uh, most recent Sunday, when Carl won uh, four out of five maps, I believe, you will then get 400 euros. So that's sort of an interesting thing and a funny thing. Uh, it makes each and every round sort of more funny to watch because you know that there are 100 euros on the line. Will someone risk it for the 100 euros or will they try to save it and then make sure that they don't drop down to number 9 where they lose all the points they have collected so far. And if you look at just the prize pool alone, 1500 euros or 15,000 euros, sorry, I'm more used to having 1500 euros in Czechmania, but yeah, 15,000 euros. It's actually the fifth biggest uh, prize pool we have ever seen in Trackmania uh, and it's equal to the likes of ESWC 2011 and ESWC 2015. And you have to go back to 2015 to see anything like it because this prize pool alone is bigger than all the prize pools we had in 2016 and also bigger than all the prize pools we had in 2017. And it's only behind the version PlayLink which was hosted in 2006 and behind 2000, uh, ESWC 2006, ESWC 2007, and ESWC 2008. So the only events that this event is behind in terms of price uh, money is events that is hosted more than 10 years ago. So that sort of gives you an indication about how special it is to have this amount of prize pool. And also a unique thing, like you heard me say, top 8 will get paid out, and I think you also have to go back to then where is on PlayLink, in 2006 where you can see more than let's say the top three or top four are getting paid out i believe at where zone top 10 got paid out number four to ten got thousand euros if i remember that correctly but yeah the norm in the latest year is that you have an offline event in tech uh, and top four get paid out or maybe just top three but now top eight will be paid out and this is Sort of an indication that SoftDB has been hinting towards ever since the start. You want to play this because we are not only going to reward the top players, or the top players, we are also going to reward the other players. So let's say now top 8, which is, of course, you can make the case for them being top players, but yeah, you get where I want with this. And if you just now look at 2019 and what this event will mean for 2019, now 2019 can actually be one of the biggest year ever in Czechmania. It will probably not beat uh, 2006 in terms of prize money, of course. You had the two biggest event then, uh, $72,000 alone there. So we will not reach that, I believe, but I'm already surprised that we see 15,000 euros. So maybe after the summer we'll see something more crazy and then 
I will be mistaken again, but so far it looks to be a top three contender, at least top five in terms of just prize money. And that is something I, if you go back to 2017, I don't think people would expect that uh, to be the case and that we will see sort of the numbers that we saw in 2009, 2010 and so on. But then if you go specifically into this event and Turkmenia Grand League, uh, I've seen some people react to why announce it after two weeks is already played. Why not have it already since the start? Uh, so to be joined the stream and, and I think his official words were that they don't want people to just play for the money and that's why they announced it so late. I'm not sure if I uh, agree with that or if that really is the case. Maybe they weren't done negotiating and then officially ended up with the, the price tag fifteen thousand dollar or euro sorry. Uh, and yeah, some people are probably going to be mad because they already probably was a bit mad just having one week to train and not having that week to plan it out it was announced one week and then the next week you had to play and now we have to sit on the sideline not only uh, getting uh, miss out on the biggest event but now also one of the biggest prize pools. But then you can, what does this mean for the future? Is there a long term plan? Will the people who are missed out on this now can join the next event and expect the same kind of prize pool? Uh, I will guess so, uh, because they have said it so many times that this is just a better season, and it's just an indication about how the season one is going to look like. If you are to draw any logical conclusion, then a season one would of course be bigger than a better season, right? This is just some testing period. But then if you look at, like I said, the history of Alchakmenia, Having bigger price pool than 15,000 euros is again so rare, but now I wouldn't be surprised if we see that. But at least I hope we will just see an equal price pool for the next season, maybe a, just a playoffs. let's see. And I don't hope that this is just some once in a, I say once in a lifetime or whatever, like a drop in the ocean and then nobody remembers it and just looks back at this beta season is that what the fuck was really going on here? Why did they end up sponsoring this event so much? Uh, and yeah, when if you look at it and then having no real long term plan in place, so I hope they have it. And if I am to speculate, and you know me, I like to speculate, then I think that we see this uh, prize pool for showing maybe the two Ubisoft that okay, Trackmania can be popular. We can draw some numbers. Um, that's also the case why I believe we have these influencers simply to go to their office and say, okay, we have 20,000 people watching, we have 15,000 euros in the prize pool. Now, will you get on board? And I hope so. If the Ubisoft gets on board, then you can only imagine that the prize pool would probably be even bigger. It's a way bigger organization. Um, and maybe we'll actually see the biggest prize pool ever in Germania. But now I'm jumping kind of way ahead and way into the future. But that's why, I, that's because I hope that this event has a long term plan and not this just, okay, we just put 15,000 euros here, we see what happens. Uh, and then when the next season comes, we'll re negotiate and then see what money we have left to play with there. Uh, and yeah, uh, if. Uh, some people have uh, brought up the question maybe this will bring uh, attention outside of Chakmania because now they can see that we actually have some price pool. To me that's bullshit. Uh, I don't think 5,000 euros will make a difference to 15,000 euros. It's not like if you advert it or market it that's like, oh, it's a 15,000 euro price pool in Chakmania. Look how popular it's going, look how big it is. Uh, that's not the case. Uh, when you are used to seeing on YouTube, yeah, Fortnite for $1 million or CSGO for $250,000. But in the Trackmania bubble, we all know how big this prize pool is. It sort of feels like a million dollars to us. So maybe it will uh, gather the attention of the Trackmania community. Maybe some other people who are not really watching Trackmania anymore will see that now Madeo is really pushing it. They are willing to help it out and they will then watch it and the community that watches the, the competitions will be bigger and just help the game grow overall. 
that's my sort of first thought about this. Uh, I might be way off here, but what do you think? Uh, let me know in the comments section. Uh, should Madeo have spent this uh, otherwise? Should they have, let's say, sponsored Gamers Assembly with a bigger prize pool? Uh, should they have used this money to get into another offline event? Or, yeah, what do you think about the decision of just putting fifteen thousand dollars or fifteen thousand euros sorry i fucked this up every time but yeah should it have been used otherwise uh, or do you don't care it's not your money you're just happy that they actually spend some money on it and that people will be rewarded and do you believe that uh, we'll see a season one and will the season one of the Jackmania grand league be even bigger than the beta season we see so far let me know in the comment section what do you think and what do you think about what i'm saying Feel free to tell me if I'm way off, I might be sometimes, or most of the time, uh, but yeah, let me know, and I'll see you in the next video, bye bye.